in the I'm elevator, going. please. Heading back. All right, so let's make sure we got the right mission journalized. Um, not speaking to Gladys. Get new parts for the radiator. Here we go. Okay, I see a medical drone. Hey, McRed, were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or you'll parley with the king. Well, parley. Hello. Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. <laughs> Yum, yum. I guess he's holding a flamethrower. Feed the flames. It's nothing personal. Promise. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. Oh, ho, ho, ho. for myself, Captain. I am not of a mind to be murdered by a psychopath who plays with fire. You came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. Alright, put that down before you incinerate the entire deck. You're only getting out of this alive if you play nice. Just exploring the ship and stumble on this level. Nothing personal, I'll just be going. Hmm. Neither is this. Do, 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 do. do we want to just kill him? We could try to persuade. I mean, I kind of just want to kill him. Let's see if we can bullshit him. You stumbled into my court without an invitation, neighbor from above. If you don't have any business, then it's time to light up the grill. Hmm. Something personal, I'll just be going. Hmm, let's insult him a little bit. Ooh, look at the courage on this one. Lay it on me, boss. Give me a taste of that fiery primal spirit. I'm here for them parts you lay sent me. There's a bounty on your head. I want to claim the reward. I'm just passing through. There is a bounty, otherwise I'd let him go. So, you know, bounty on your head. Listen to the fire of those convictions. This one's hungry for justice. Alive or dead? Rare or medium? What's it gonna be? How do you want me cooked, bounty hunter? No need for violence. Give me your lighter and the bounty disappears. Medium well. Mm, I forgot. Let me go check. I'll be right back. Medium well. Incoming. Sometimes violence is the only way. Damn. Here I go. Yeah, that was a fun little gunfight. Oh, there's more of them. Oh no, these are the engineers. I'll take your confession now. Damn! Just murder them from miles away. God, I love their abilities. Holy shit! Look at that thing. No, Parvati! Leave her alone! No, there's more of you. Oh, she's up again. Oh, there must be upstairs or something. There we go. All the loot. Water resistant wear. Casual. Nice. That was fun. It was just meat confetti. That's a pretty accurate description. Hey, I got his lighter. And a ring and Montag. Opti glasses. Sweet. That's extra sneak. 
And they're probably super light compared to the other sneak helmets we have collected. They looked pretty good on him, so, you know. Um... So, Vicar Max, how about you, uh, enjoy... Ravati, I'm giving you the flamethrower. Vicar, I'm gonna give you the heavy machine gun. Although, is this better? That one will stagger. This has knockback. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, let's just make sure we loot these guys. I like the fact that we got to fight some, like, robots and stuff in addition to normal things. Oh, there was explosive barrels I could have been using. Didn't even see them. On the top of the stairs? No. Good, good, good. My energy ammo loaded back up. Alright, so there's two staircases and it looks like an upper bridge area. And then this back bay. And a vent, apparently. Can you imagine being frozen for ten years, sailing through space in a room such as this? No, nope, only seventy years. Plasma rifle. Oh yeah, it's just like the Hope. That's kind of cool that they've uh, settled down into like the Hope room. Splashes is in the laboratory outfit. Oh, hello. Thank you, Pravati. Watch and learn. I've had quite enough of you. Damn. Nice one. Everyone all right? Oh, hey. She wasn't evil. I'm I'm glad that you uh, survived. What do you think you're doing? Uh Oh. Whatever I want. I was stealing from the thing after rescuing her, and apparently this counts as an own container. Just keep your fingers to your own self, okay? Bitch, I rescued you. I huh, haven't seen any new faces down here since I arrived. Not sure how long ago that was. McGred tends to incinerate anyone who comes by. Green's dead. I'm going to grab some radiator parts. Any engineer can use your help installing them. Quite better off in engineering than down here with the outlaws. What brings you to the back base? Dune Lay sent me down to collect the parts we need to fix the radiators. McGred got me all distracted sucking fumes and <laughs> talking about the cosmos. Youth these days have no principles. I can't tell if you brought friends or if I'm still seeing things, so maybe I ought to lay off the fumes and head back to work. Can you grab some radio parts? Any engineer can use your help installing them. I'll get back to my post. See you topside, stranger. Drugs are bad for you, alright? I bet you I lost a reputation point for her catching me stealing. No, I didn't. That's good. Easy. Oop, I got something big. Another tactical shotgun, anti-riot gear, which is long guns. That might be good for a sniper build. What was the other big thing I got? It was big and chunky looking. What was it? Is it just random junk? Holographic shroud. No, that's the holographic shroud. Is it a bracelet? Yeah, might have been. Farm friendly work gear. We take a bottle of something. Oh, steel PD. Yes, please. We got a little model thing. I bet you that goes to the uh, ship. Might look nice in one of the crew's rooms. Aw, yay. Ooh, hello. Just gonna raid their fridge. Loot. All right, well, I'm glad we didn't accidentally kill the person we came to rescue. Ooh, a troop helmet. Is that any good? I like the... That's a science item. 
Huh. I think it looks better than the other science helmet we've got. Beats the crap out of the beanie. How's it look? Yeah, it looks kind of weird, but... Still better than the beanie. Alright, let's go upstairs then. I don't know... Yeah, it looks like that's where we need to go, so let's go up this other side first. Ooh, that's, uh... That's an accident waiting to happen. Oh my god. That guy actually got branded. Hey, uh... Vicar, would you mind, uh, handling the sniper? Here's a little trick I learned in prison. You've been to prison. Oh yeah, because he was the warden of the prison. God, I love her hammer ability. You okay, Captain? I am sorry if I accidentally hit you on that one, Parvati. You good? We all good? Get some work fast. Oh man, we got some choices for which ones we use for our perks. Just all kinds of good stuff to steal in here. Assault rifle. I'm surprised we haven't hit our uh, weight limit yet. Although we did add the backpack mod, so that gives us an extra 20 pounds. Junior mycologist log. When I settled the groundbreaker, I thought this would be a gateway to the stars. Not beginning of my epic tale as a spacer, or the, the beginning of my epic tale as a spacer. Now I grow shrooms for a bunch of outlaws. Not even for selling. They just eat the damn things by the handful. Some of the crews have been tripping for weeks. So as it could be worse, head of the sublight, heard of a sublight contractor who got dissolved in chemicals and flushed down waste treatment for stealing from Lilia. Now McReed, he's always happy to see me. Calls me his fungus lad. Update. McReed just sent a man on fire for having his laces undone. Shit, shit, shit. Maybe I need to be more careful about what I'm growing. Ought to find something that calms him down. Time to experiment. Well, they were doing drugs, which are bad. Ooh, plasma blade. Anything else in here? All right, well, other than the drugginess, where, where'd that, oh, here it was, combat drone. <laughs> All right, looks like everything else is on the other side that we need to go pick up. That's totally fine. Kill everyone in the location, bathe in their blood. Yeah, I mean, maybe not, you know, with the bathing nice part. Oh, this is outflow pipes. But the killing, you know, that totally up for killing everybody. Hmm, let's go up this way first. Tells me this is like a sneaky way. Sneaky sneak. Not a peep for me. This place is falling apart. Oh, wait. Never anger a man of the claw. Okay, he just shot through the wall and did not hit her. That guy did not even hear that. She's just beating the shit out of this guy with the hammer. Nice job, Parvati. This guy did not hear all of that stuff that just went down. I can't read any lore on any of these computers. None of them are working. Ah, radiator parts. Hey, level 10. I'm gonna have to let Pervati give June Lei the parts. That way she earns some brownie points. Hello, extra chest. Getting a lot of good, like, ammo pieces and stuff. Or armor pieces and stuff. It's really nice. 
we'll be able to modify our gear pretty well. All right, well, that was a fun little trip to the back bays. Let's put our level in. Um, well, we might as well bring our Persuade up to 50, because, I mean, that's probably a good skill to top off, and then we can start working on, like, gun handling and stuff like that. Because we don't really use heavy weapons yet, so that's not a huge important thing to get there. But let's get all the way up to 10. Perfect. So that puts us up past 60 on a Persuade, so we can probably persuade people to do pretty much whatever we want. And we can access our first tier 2 perk, because we leveled up. So what do we want? Let's see, less pennant to accuracy while moving. Get 25% of our time dilation restored per kill. I need to remember to use time dilation, I kind of forgot about it. <clears throat> more weapon damage from science weapons, more movement speed when we're in time dilation. Extra head point and weak, shot, weak spot damage. Ooh, that's, that's, that's a really good one. Um... Oh, straight up get an extra five meters. So that's like the uh, other perk where we don't have care. Better buying price from vendors. To pay you more bits than they should. Ooh, that makes them pay me more. Nice. 25% um, chance to reset a companion ability cooldown on each critical hit. So when I get a crit, they get a possibility of a cooldown coming off. That's really good. When a companion ability has a chance to reset when the other compute companion abilities cool down. Ooh, these are combo-y. Killing an enemy reduces the remaining cooldown of companion abilities. Oh my god, these are... That's a three set right there. 15% um, health restored per kill. Ooh, that's that's a nice one because I tend to forget to heal. Um, less consumable weight. That's just a little bit more looting preference. Uh, ooh, 40 kilogram carrying capacity bonus from companions. I mean, I'm kind of doing pretty okay on the carry weight, so I don't need to burn a point just yet on that. Plus 10 to all dialogue skills when you have no companions. Oh, that's not good for me. Um, jeez, I don't know. This seems like a really good set. Um, the restoring more of your time dilation whenever you kill and getting your health back when you get a kill. And also getting more headshot weak point damage all seem like very, very good. So I think those will probably be the five I get. I just don't know which one's the best. 25% chance to reset an ability when using the other companion's ability. Reset ability on each critical hit. I mean... Eh. And this one I feel like would probably proc more often, but this one... You know, it'd be nice. I can just do a hammer, a thing, and the hammer, and, you know, I can alternate between them. Because I usually tend to use the companion abilities at the start of a combat set. Or I can just get some health regen per kill. Hmm. We're not quite to the point where combat is super crazy hard yet. Mostly because we've just been handling, you know, groups that are kind of slower. So... Hmm. This one has the disadvantage of it not... Like, this one will work because I'll usually be shooting myself if the companions aren't on cooldown. But I get critical hits more often when I'm sniping. You know, I'll just get the... Hmm. I don't know which one to get. So many good ones. This one's a good one to get early, because I can sell junk for so much more. But I haven't really hit the point where I need the extra points, or the extra caps, or credits, or whatever. So I'm just going to go for extra damage. Because I get a lot of critical hits and stuff, so that will go pretty well with my build. And I also have the... Uh... No, something's got some bonus to it. But, yeah, that'll work for now. What am I doing Friday? Uh, for stream-wise, I don't think I have anything scheduled. Not entirely certain. Alright, let's go turn in these parts. That way June Lei can have another conversation with Parvati and thank her for being the one helping. And then we'll probably find a good wrap-up place. 
We've had a lot of exposition on the ship, but it's nice to uh, have been making some progress. And we learned a lot about the world and the lore, so... Hey, June Lei. You've returned, and in one piece. Color me impressed. It's parts for the radiator. What now? Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight manta-pillar infestation. Oh, our job's not done yet. All right. Define slight. More than a few. Less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. We were salvaging parts from a ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators, and here we are. Well, at least you're being honest. Got you. Got your parts, why do I have to go into some maintenance shaft? If every repair was a one-woman job, I wouldn't need an engineering team. As it is, my staff is busy keeping the station from melting down. You can flip a switch for me, but you can't install these parts. Not quickly, at least. Not on the first try. Able, though, you've proven to be. Well, I'll take the compliment. All right. Don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. You two are the cutest couple. I am behind this 100% of the time. Under the over the way. So we gotta go this way. I'm so glad you guys just jump with me. I like your matching armor. I'm very glad I did that. I'm gonna whenever I upgrade armor, I'm gonna have to keep you guys upgraded the same. The controls are in the back of the machinery shaft area. Keep clear of the radiators. You don't need to kill the manta pillars. But I'd be mighty grateful if you did. I've got this thing about giant insects. Fair enough. Hello? Oh, we're in combat. I'll you right up. I smite you in the name of the law. Nice. That was a bug swarm. Where is the last one? Is it up? Ah, found it. Everybody okay? Great. Nice. Well, points to Max. He just went whole off on that guy and just ran all the way up the stairs. Ah, D&D was pushed to Friday instead of tonight. Okay, totally fine. Yep, that will work just fine. Alright, so this looks like we're going to end the stream. we got a little bit longer we can go. Archive blogging transmissions. Archival confirmation. Alright. To HHB Earth HQ, transmitted via probe, archived its source. I wanted to report that Groundbreakers successfully arrived at the Grange Point, having released our cargo of prefab housing, settlers, and supplies at the intended colony. And they prosper and expand. Now that stages one and two of the mission have been carried out, my family will take ownership of the Groundbreakers as specified in our contract, keeping the ship in active duty as an independent trading post, repair shop, and cargo bay. And I'd be remiss if I close this transmission without sending my hopes and best wishes back to Earth. There's so much ahead of us, but we'll never forget what we left behind. Aww. Stern reminder. Some very rich and unsavory elements among our colonial neighbors seem to have a wrong idea about why I flew us out here. It wasn't for a nine-figure blood money salary and a Spacer's Choice logo stamped on my ass. It wasn't a nickel and dime passing shifts out of their last bit. Groundbreaker has no role in the success or failure of Halcyon's corporate entities, period. I negotiated that understanding and clearly outlined it in writing before I ever set foot on this ship. If anyone wants to dispute or compromise our independence, we will answer to a Tennyson, or family operation. When the last Tennyson dot falls, Groundbreaker will remember us and defend its freedom accordingly. Oh, well, that's nice. Get a little bit of lore in the... Oh my god, there were a lot of explosives in this room. There wasn't anything on that one. You know, I might need to sell some of these, or at least bank some of these. Uh... Actually, no, I don't think the uh, lockpick things weigh anything. Yeah, they don't have any weight. I was going to say, I have a lot of lockpicks, and my lockpicking skill is high enough that I don't have to use lockpicks for anything, so. Yeah, so I'm guessing these parts are a little hot. Good news. Song tells me the security mechanicals booted up and killed a bunch of mantis. Bad news. Diagnostic says their circuit boards are fused from the heat, so they're not too picky about who they kill next. 
shoot back if you need to. I can always fix them later. All right, well, um, I'll be blowing them up because, you know, blowing them up seems to be the best way of doing things. I don't get any different rewards for, you know, sparing the robots, so, you know. It's going loud. Sort of. As I sneak in to get the jump on him. Of course, this side's barred. Never the side I want to start on. Unexpected noise. I didn't see anything. The strong survive and the weak perish. God, I love that build ability. Damn, still not dead. Our skills are unrivaled. Well, we make a good combo team, at least. Alright, looks like there's about three more of these guys. Shit, that wasn't what was alive over here. Alright, you got that one, Pravati. Beat the shit out of it while it's down. And there's a couple more still. Keep an eye out for them. <laughs> Explosive boxes are the best. It's like a drop down. Oh, that's our only way. Ugh. I'm gonna go drop down on these crates because it seems like I have a little bit better control over the landing zone. And, you know, when my companions can teleport through walls and stuff, it's not a bad thing. Sweet. I think that's everybody. I love this charge rifle. This thing is amazing. I'm gonna have to remember to maintain it when I see a workbench next time we go up to engineering. Yeah. That's the terminal. I have the parts in position on my side. Go ahead and cycle the droplet pumps. And if you don't know what that means, just look for a command that says cycle droplet pumps. Well, thank you. That makes it simple. Let's see. Logs. Cobble together. Staff is getting rent list. Work around and half-cooked solutions are all we've got to mend Groundbreaker's bones. In many cases, we can't revive one system without cannibalizing another. Grandma lived with that reality, and so will I. Can rally our spirits. What happens the next time I'm not around? Or what happens when I'm not around? Groundbreaker's real test will be seeing if our independence outlasts me. I'll take that bet. Old plans, new problems. Found some Chief Gallywon's old schematics. Groundbreaker must have been taking a beating through the crossing because she spent half of her career patching it up. Lots of corners cut when they put this place together. Among her papers, I also found the layout of a hangar that doesn't match any of my docks. Something must have gotten sealed off along the way, like blood cells isolating an infection. I hate to put sediment down in print, but every time I open a panel or find some workaround in the guts of this old bird, it's like I can feel you reaching out to me from the past, Grandma. Aww, that's adorable. Alright, cycle drop of bumps. Now, expendable right, personnel must exit the maintenance shaft before activating the cycling protocol. Cycling successful. Sweet. I want that loot. I also want this loot. Yeah, yeah. yeah, give me the box. Just, I just, just want the box. It's an Adreno. Which you now have 35 of. Also, I keep forgetting to use my, like, slow time mode. You gotta remember that it's there. Ah! Ow. Oh well, I passively heal. 
Well, we did a good job. Yeah, sorry, Hurley, that you were joining in the stream just kind of as we were wrapping things up. I'm glad no one saw that, because I totally forgot I'm not able to loot in this room. Whoopsie. Trying not to anger the chief engineer. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Spacer's Choice calls rumor of a Saltuna shortage patently baseless. The Edgewater canning facility is operating at full capacity and will be delivering the gourmet Saltuna <laughs> Not anymore. based fine products that valued employees crave. Spacer's Choice. All right, we got your job done. Also returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. Oh yeah, we have the bounty to turn in. Thank you for reminding me. Thinking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. Sweet. All right, be on our way. Groundbreaker's safe from melting to bits now. Lots of good people can rest easy because of you. What was about? What was that about? Back at June Lay's. Oh, let's ask her about June Lay right in front of June Lay. Well, I didn't expect her to be so tall. And did you see the size of her arms? Sounds like you have a crush on her. What? No. Maybe? I don't... It's like somebody reached into my head and pulled out what I didn't know I wanted. You know how hard it is to find anybody who likes working with tools in a little town like Edgewater? You are adorable, and we will make this happen. As you're not sure how you felt, this won't interfere with your work, will it? There's more to a relationship than beefy arms and a shared career. Uh... Um, I, I, I need to make sure I don't do anything to screw this up. Um, I'm not going to say that one. That's definitely out. BPR is a shared career. Yeah, sounds like you're not sure how you feel. Let's go with that one. I just met her. How could I be? All I know is I want to talk with her more. Did you see how everybody on Groundbreaker listens to June Lei? She's just, here's how to fix it. And they trust her. It's just... She's calm and knows what to do. I wish I was half so confident. So, how about okay, we, uh, set up a date for you two or something? No, nothing. We, uh... That Chief Junlei sure seems well, huh? Yeah, she's standing, like, right next to you. Staring at you. Like, intently staring at you. So cute! Oh wait, uh, you were you were the one I needed to talk you to. You to send a message? If so, we best do it now while we still got time. Why would we run out of time? Me? No, but our relaying capabilities—that's on the final countdown. We're going offline in three, two, one and a half. No. Wait, I've lost track of my weeks. Maybe it was thirty-six or. Uh, sometime dire soon. What do you, uh, why are you about to lose calm? Our primary relay station soon to be occluded by a gas giant. Happens every 40 years or thereabouts. The event's forecasted to last for months, during which we'll lose signal to the station. Mm. And that's our problem, how? We've got backup auxiliary relays, but the one currently in orbital range went offline some months ago. We can't spare people for routine maintenance. Okay, we got a ship. We'll go fly out and get your station back online. How are you cut off by losing one station? Well, we wouldn't be utterly and completely blacked out, but we'd lose the majority of our comm traffic for sure. Ships and colonies on Terra 2 need a clear line from their communications towers to the Groundbreaker for the transmissions to make it through. If it's not clear, they transmit to the closest relay station, which stores the message, then passes it along when our orbits align. Okay. And the other stations? The others won't be in orbital range during the occlusion event. Isn't it some law of the universe? 
the relay I gotta rely on is, of course, the one on the fritz. Alright. How about ships sending messages to each other? That they can and they do. But only between ships owned by the same corporation. Yeah. No corporal authorized sending messages through a ship owned by a rival. So it's up to us and to no fix the communications really because the, the little kids freighters. can't play nice. Not without charging them more than they'll make in a single haul anyway. That's why we're the message hub. The Groundbreakers neither corporate owned nor board controlled. Our comms are neutral. All right. Can't the board handle messages? Sure. I mean, they got their own relays and all, but they'll only send along messages the corporations pay for. And then they charge folks to send messages back, often more than they can afford. And none of that money goes to the Groundbreaker. Just tightens the board's grip on our throat. All right. Fuck the board. Maybe they're good to their people, I can't rightly say. But they're no good for us, not for Groundbreaker. All right. Well, one of my crew members is totally crushing on your chief slash captain. And so you guys are all now officially the family. So whatever we can do to help you. Yeah, I'm working on it. I finally got the chief to approve the budget for a diagnostic expedition. But allocating the personnel loss for sending a technical team to the relay station keeps getting denied by Junlei. Um, the chief. Check the relay. No need for official sign-off in that case. What's in it for me if I investigate it? Seems you're responsible to have fixed your backup relay before now. Alright, I'll do it. I should say no, but why not? Maybe you can figure out why it's offline. I'll send you with an equipment manual. Hopefully we'll get lucky, or I'll get my approval in time. Hope you don't mind if I borrow that manual when you're done with it, Captain. I could do with some leisure reading. Oh, and I'll need you to retrieve a copy of the relay's backup data. I gotta forward any messages from Earth stored in the memory. Better late than never, eh? Uh, what do you mean? The relay stations orbit the edge of the Halcyon system, so they tend to receive the majority of any transmissions from Earth. I'm sure the station's got a stack of junk messages just waiting for me to sort through. Alright. You just let the messages from Earth sit in memory on an orbital relay? It's not like they're in high demand. Most tend to be adverts on new products, meaning only folks in Byzantium can afford them. Okay. Also, I'm glad you want to, like, read the manual for a communication station as light reading. That is just wonderful. Okay. Let's go turn in a bounty, and then what other quest do we have here? <gasps> Ooh, they leveled up! I didn't realize they leveled up. Increase your chance of looting mods when Parvati's in the party. 10% chance to extract mods in the field. Yes! And then we get 25% more time dilation meter. Oh, wow. Yep, let's buff her things, and then we'll buff the rest of these. And Vicar Max, what is your unique? Increase the duration of your dialogue combat effects while Max is in the party. 20% increase in dialogue combat effect duration, and then 20% more science weapon damage. Obviously, we're doing the special stuff first, because these are generic ones that every single companion has the exact same of. So that means if I, like... Freak someone out and they cower from me for a while. I get even, even, even longer. Also, we have to go visit the sublight plate people before we leave. We have not visited that place yet. Oh, and then we also have to go... Break... We have to go to the medical bay. Oh my god, we still have so much stuff to do. And then the rest and go. We have like six different places to go to. This is a massive quest hub. Uh, where was the bounty office? Was that through this door? This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled... I don't think this is the way I'm supposed to be going. That door's barred. Didn't they say there was, like, a secret back way over here? If you get up on... Hello, there we go. You don't see nothing. Sneaking, 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 sneaking. Ooh, we got something back here. Something enemy. A jeweled ring. Didn't see anything.
Outlaw Squad. Well, well, well. What fine treasures might await us in here? I'll take your confession now. Nice shot. You got it, Captain. And down they go. Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. God, I love this That's ability. The last of them. Well, that's good, because I took a lot of damage there. Holy shit. Repair hanger keycard. Nice. Daywear option two. Oh, that's where that door comes out. We found ourselves a whole other hangar and a whole other ship. That's kind of cool. All because we had a random, what was it, like a message or a note or something we found somewhere else? That's kind of cool. There's a couple loot things down there and a chest. Some more bits and stuff. Okay, we got a door. Oh, hey, we got a uh, workbench. Let me get this guy tinkered up. A good old trusty gun. 85% it costs... No, I don't want to tinker. I want to repair. Six parts. Yeah, let's use six parts to get ourselves back up to full. We can tinker with our... Oh, we should modify our sniper rifle. Let's see, we can give it an additional magazine size. Give it different sniper things. <sighs> Damage per minute would go up by about, that's actually pretty good. All right, let's give it one of these. Better magazine. And then I completely forgot that I can tinker with stuff to buff our armor and things levels by considerable amounts. Look at all that armor damage, or armor power. Let's see, can we buff this guy even more? Oop, I'm going to tinker with it. Ten percent more for a thousand. It's getting kind of expensive, but we love this plasma rifle, so it is worth it. That might not be. Let's buff our shotgun. Alright, that was a pretty significant DPS increase for not a lot of bits. 216, 234, 252, 270. Nice. And... Oh, did we ever give the flamethrower to anybody? Yeah, we gave the flamethrower to... I think we gave it to... Um... Max. That's why we haven't gotten any use out of it yet. Alright, loot down here. Loot the side room. Turn in bounty. Oh, that's where we came in from. Aha! Trying to be sneaky and hiding your good stuff. Hello! Tremor Cleaver. Is that like the vanilla version of the docking one that we have? Yeah, that looks like it. I've got my health regen stops when I get on tall things like that. Awesome! There's a wiring diagram from hell. Alright, let's see what we got. Prismatic Hammer Research Terminal. Logs. Discovery. While rummaging through the back bays, I discovered a very old hammersmith crate that seems to have been sealed for a very long time. Bit of elbow grease and determination pried it open, couldn't make heads or tails of my discovery. A prototype hammer. 
Didn't know Hammersmith actually made hammers, but I brought it to my lab for a closer look. How strangely it glows. The trail of its wake lingers even when my eyes are closed. Spend more time on the hammer. Its internal workings are a state of art. Or state of the art. Thermal, electrical, chemical systems all working together in harmony. How is it even possible? Up it is a breakthrough in circuitry and engineering, and many of its systems appear rigged against tampering. There's a curious energy signature swirling about the weapon, although I've yet to t identify the source. T air taste of copper. I have now lost several teeth. I've had the most sublime prismatic dream since I invited the hammer into my bedchamber. Okay, then. Never mind that for now. Good news first. The energy signature matches... Blind Dot's elusive N-rays, raising the hammer's elemental properties to four. Shock, plasma, corrosion, and radiation. Oh, sweet. We got, like, an elemental hammer. Now for the bad. In my attempts to neuter the self-destruct functionality, I inadvertently cause a small fire. Hammer's manual controls may never function again. Swinging it seems to be the only way of cycling through its elemental modes. All right. Take greater care of future experiments. Taking the liberty of locking myself in the workshop. My tinkerings were all for naught. This is no prototype. I'm simply too flawed to recognize its perfections. The hammer is a lesson, a symbol. It whispers to me that the sword rules all things. With a little ambition, what we can harness that power. Only by inflicting chaos upon others can we transmute disorder into harmony. That is a lesson the Halcyon is not ready to hear. Interesting. So it's a science hammer. Hammersmith was... Ha Hammersmith was working on a hammer weapon, the Pulse Hammer, when its rival company, Aramid Ballistic, stole the plans, rushed its development, and beat them to market. All the while ridiculing Hammersmith with a marketing campaign about them having no hammers in their weapon line. Hammersmith executives demanded the ultimate hammer be produced, but this prototype was so expensive, it never entered production. Ooh, shiny. Now I don't see... Oh, I'm sorry for cutting you off. This lightly, but that is a work of sheer universal beauty. Nice. Do you want to say anything about it? I could spend hours reflect. So. Nope. Oops, sorry. We got plasma. Electric. Nothing. Ooh. Me like. I don't think I can modify it. Boost its DPS a little bit. Problem is, swinging it does take some durability down just to change its typing, which is unfortunate. It's also really not getting the same kind of, uh, kind of gains that it should, but that's fine. It's cool to have a nice new toy to play with. Change every time I take it out? It does. And I can't get out of here. <laughs> hey, we found a sweet science weapon I didn't know was in there, so. Third is electric as the bar turned yellow. That's plasma. That's electric. Oh, it's an empty thing. So, like, it goes firefly for plasma and stuff, so maybe it's an incomplete hammer? Maybe it's missing an elemental type? Hmm. We'll have to see. Seems like a fun melee weapon to use, hey, though. Mr. Vicar, do you ever get a little bit homesick for Edgewater? For that ocean stink? No, I do not. You're supposed to say yes and go on to explain why. I just want to have a conversation. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> oh, you two are cute. All right, let's go turn in our bounty. Here's where the bounty office is. How goes the hunt? I've been ruminating on it, and I decided, if you ain't killed McRed yet, I want you to hurt him a little before you do. Nothing excessive, mind you, but the scoundrel deserves a light beaten at least before he kicks off. Uh, I shot him with a shotgun, and then Parvati beat the shit out of him with a hammer. Is that enough? Good news, I killed him and I roughed him up before I did it. Only kill humanely. Here's his lighter. Forget about the bounty for now. I want to talk to you about something else. Ah, uh, yeah, we roughed him up. I believe I'm growing fond of you, bounty hunter. If you got the Mardettes backs, 
The Mardettes have got yours. Here's the bounty payout. Nice work down there. With any luck, we can hire more sharp-eyed bounty hunters like you in the future. Welcome, King Spartan. I'm glad you enjoy the YouTube videos. Glad you could make a stream. All right, we made some good money. Um, what's Mardette? We're the security force here on Groundbreaker. Started back before the crossing, you know. But why Mardette, not guard or officer? The original force was made up of a Marine detachment from the 77th Marine Expeditionary Unit, Trailward Fleet. Folks started calling us Mardettes because it was easier to say. Guess it stuck. Okay. And we're going to ignore the bounty on our friend. So now, let's do a quick save. So, Vicar wants us to go in the back here to download a ship log because he has a friend slash colleague slash rival slash lover, whatever, I don't know the relationship they actually have, that knew something about his mysterious book thing. And so by going into here... Download said thing. Um, how about you guys just All right, I'm wait going. out over here? So, how does our shroud work? Um, it just is a holographic projection thing. I don't remember where the manual is on this thing. Um, I think we just we have a Mardet security key card. Rest and go key card, first aid room key. Mardet ID cartridge. All right. Use the biometric information store in the corporate identity cartridge to construct a crude holographic disguise. You cannot ap you appear as a specific individual, but will pass as a corporate employee from a distance. All right. Don't talk to anyone. Go in. This is basically Fallout New Vegas in space. All right. Oh, thank you for the tutorial. Holographic disguise activated. Your holographic shroud is activated, giving you temporary access to the restricted area. Moving drains the shroud's energy. All right, so we got to be careful on our movement. When it runs out, personnel will see and interrogate you. Talk your way out of interrogation to reset your shroud. It'll get harder to talk your way out the more you get interrogated. All right. Great work. There it is. Just yank the drive, and I'll do the rest. Okay, you know what? You guys want to just come in here with I'll me? Be right there. I think it handles our companions too. All right. Eject docking records cartridge. Yoink. Confiscated goods. Detained a freelancer who is cagey about his business. Confiscated his personal belongings while you wait for questioning. Modified pistol, hatchet, metal hoop. Um, prayer beads, locked container, owner refused inspection. Fled before we get down to it, left the things behind, so they're stored in the back of the security station the idiot shows his face again. Likely to be never. Sublight put a bid on one of our impounds. Generous one, too. Negotiate for the usual finder's fee and give Lily her salvage. Brawl at the Lost Hope. Freelancers versus board. Freelancers won. Rested a freighter captain with more bits than brains. Hawthorne's ship impounded by the order of Udom Bedford. Still in the clue why Hawthorne associate, associates with that board snake. Guy from the back bay has roughed up the moon kid. Raving mad warned me that the moon was going to bring about the end times. He was flying high on whatever McReed grows down there. It was sworn testimony that McReed was spotted in the rest and go. Not that anyone will collaborate it. Reminder to keep an eye on Gladys. Okay. Now that we have the data cartridge, I can finally find out where that scholar I'm looking for ended up. Oh, look at you guys. You're in, like, fancy, like, trooper armor. I like that. That's a nice little, uh, disguise. Yes, yeah, so I'm uh, officially moving these. Did I just get another certificate? ID cartridge. Oh, got an even another one. All right. And another one. Well, a hatchet, should I ever want to use that? Got his hula hoop. 
I don't know if this is a reference to some other video game or something. OSI prayer beads. Hmm. Great work. All right, riot control helmet, a whole bunch of mods. Hello. I'm assuming the purple symbol means they're fooled. All right, we can't move around too much until they leave. We can, apparently, I think those three dot dot dots at the bottom let, means we can refresh our thing three times. So, if we do get caught. Oh. Sweet. No one cared that we had that restricted access thing. All right. Didn't even know this was a place over here. If you got a complaint, file it at security. I'll go do that. Finish stealing my shit. Okay, so if we manage to walk back out at any time, we reset fully. So we could just take laps and just, like, do, like, little short runs down and back to what we want to hit. Alright. Well, sweet. We've got part of his quest done. You use a lockpick on an electric door, you use an electric magnetic lockpick. Magpick. Stealing is not the answer. Stealing is the question. The answer is yes. You basically just fry the electric stuff and then take your stuff. Ooh, hello. Oh, is this a way to sneak in here if they uh, don't let me pass the door? Interesting. There's no loot up here or any other reason to come up this way, so... Or is there? Hello? I will take free loot. Weapon parts, another flamethrower. Fun time barrel and some electric stuff. I wonder if you could put the uh, electric thing on the flamethrower to make like an electric or an acid flamethrower. That'd be fun. Ooh, there's a uh, there's loot behind that door. All right, um, do a quick save. Let me just just in case I fall down. Where is one of the food items that gives me max HP? <laughs> um. There we go. A little bit more max HP. Oh, we made it. Oh, sure, it's easy for you guys. Oh. Oh, dear. Uh, somebody's been up here for a while. That's, uh, full skeletonized. We got weapon parts, mag pick, spit cartridge, Verity's breath inhalant. Companionability cooldown, time dilation recharge, protective clothing with safety harness. Ooh, it's a dialogue skill thing, though. It'll look probably better than the Vicar's garment. Let's take a look. Man, we look so badass with this. Um... Anti-riot gear. What does this look like? All right, all right. We got some fanciness to us. Oh, we can put goggles on. Dude. Oh, I like that. That has a very, very cool look to it. I like it. All right, back to our super, super heavy armor. Oh, we look like freaking Iron Man. It's amazing. I love it. Yep, there we go. All right, let's head back down safely, and then I think we're pretty much good. Yep. <laughs> really need to stop doing that. All right, and there's little miscellaneous lockpicks and stuff, but honestly, I don't need more lockpicks, like, or four more bullets and stuff. I know, as much as I hate to say, like, I don't need more loot, I really don't need more loot. Um, I'm gonna go checkpoint and dump a whole bunch of stuff. Oh. Seems we have a friend waiting for us at the ship. Well, maybe we'll recruit a new crew member then.
I've seen you limping a bit. You all right, Mr. Vicker? Need us to slow down? What are you implying? I am perfectly fit. My uh, knee is just acting up. There's no shame in being older, Mr. Vicker. Don't worry. The captain and I will take care of you. I need neither your advice nor your pity, young lady. Wah, wah. Hey, you got a second? Yeah, sure. What's going on? It looks like you have your bag packed, so I'm guessing you want to join. You know, more than welcome. Fancy running into you again. Don't mind me. It's just admiring your ship from up close. Turns weapon on and charges it. Fine looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. All right. Pretty decent pitch. Pretty eager to throw in with somebody you barely know. You're stalking me. I don't appreciate being stalked. Get lost. Yes, I absolutely am. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. No, this isn't Poop Boy. This is the guy who was getting into the fight that beat the skull in of the security guy with the uh, toss ball stick that we met, like, first thing in when we came in here. Heard enough, you're hired. Tell me why I should hire you. Consider this your interview. Temperament, if you're trying to convince me to hire you, you're going about it all wrong. My temperament bad? Hmm. I don't know if that's a good one. Let's see. Oh, okay. Well, uh, can you give me a couple of pointers? You're all over the place. Just be yourself. Don't beg. Tell me why I need you on my crew. Looking for loyal bootlickers. Flatter me like your life depends on it. Yeah, just be yourself. Sure, I can be myself. I can be myself better than anybody else in the system. You're looking for crew. I'm looking for a way off this port. So we've got something in common already. And yeah, I know I came on a little strong, but honestly, when was the last time anybody was so eager to throw in with you? Parvati. That's got to count for something, right? Perfect, you're hired. How about an interview? Sure, an interview. That sounds fair. I mean, first time for everything, right? Ask me anything you like. Let's see. Intelligence, what's the value of pie? <laughs> Are you any good in a fight? What's your biggest flaw? Uh, let's see if we get some bonus points for this. Uh, it's delicious. Mock apple pie and a triple kale crust. Maybe with a little cream on top? Classic. That is a completely and 100% totally valid answer. Alright, what's your biggest flaw? Foreman told me my biggest problem was that I didn't take orders. I told him my problem is not with authority, it's with jackasses. So yeah, I guess my biggest flaw is that I don't suffer idiots. Hope that's not a deal breaker. Alright, and are you any good in a fight? Are you kidding? I love a good fight. One time, I took an autoloader's head clean off its servos with one swing of a tossball stick. You can count on me in a scrap, boss. That's a promise. All right. Uh, you're hired. Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. You're not going to regret this. All right. We'll see you back on the ship. I'll just gather my personals and meet you on board. This is going to be great. All right, let's look at this guy's specs. Crew now, Felix. Oh, shit. He's... All right, he's already on the ship. All right. I like his hustle. <laughs> well, I did not expect you back so soon, Captain. Well, I'm back. All right, let's get stuff stuffed away in here. We'll filter through them later. Um, that's the pulse hammer. Yeah, we'll sort through everything later. I don't feel like dealing with it right now. Just store everything we're not actually using. Alright. We'll store the creepy moon helmets. Although they're funny. Oh, those are unique welder's goggles. Sweet. All right, that was a perception minus one, but in engineering plus 15. Holy crap. Okay, that's really, really good. That is super good. I'm going to keep those in my inventory because they're only 10th pound. Um... 
Oh, that has tech skills and stuff already built into it? That's really good armor. Uh, we'll just toss all the rest of these things in for right now. Uh, is that our only stealth suit, or do we have a stealth suit? That's a dialogue skills plus five, so... It's got better armor, but this one has the ability to have, like, even more dialogue stuff modded into it. So, we're gonna go with that for what we hold on to. Um, tech skills... Oh, that one already has tech skills, and that looks cooler, so... Boop. And we're good. And we're down to 75 pounds. Now all we have is this... All this junk that we should have tossed in a vending machine. Whoops. You've acquired hoop. Nice. Um, I need to talk to you, but we're gonna wrap up with you. I want to talk to our new crew member. Oh yeah, we all were wearing the moon helmets. We were having a great old time. We were looking creepy as all hell. Like, totally fun. Okay, that's the bathroom. All right, I Felix. I admire the vicar's predilection for reading. It keeps him quiet. I like quiet. <laughs> Good to see you, boss. All right, how'd you end up on the groundbreaker? Didn't I tell you? I'm secretly the chairman's orphan child, abandoned at birth in the back bays. Sweet. And then you were raised by a pack of sprats, right? <laughs> that's right. Can't get anything past you, boss. Honestly, before you picked me up, I was living in the back bays. Spent my whole life up there, watching ships roll in and take off. I always wondered when my ship would come. I was what folks on the Groundbreaker call a stowaway. Means I was invisible. Life carried on for everybody else, but not for me. I had to make my own way. All right. You were a stowaway. Let's see, at least you weren't obliged to obl uh, anyone else. You were free. Hard time believing you were invisible to anybody. Yeah, because I got sick of being ignored. Got sick of being a nobody. So yeah, I made some noise. Got in a couple scraps. Nobody else in the Groundbreaker is going to look after you. So you had to look after yourself. Learn that real quick. That's how it is in this colony. No one gives a damn about you. I like it when you make trouble. Halcyon's got enough obedient little workers. Maybe you should keep your head down and work. Oh yeah. If Let's I encourage him. Scuffle with my old foreman. You and I never would have met. You'd be off having adventures without me, and I'd still be working on the docks. Hauling boxes was about the only work I could find. Hated every second of it. Foreman and I never got on. Right, the incident with the toss ball stick. Could be I was overreacting. A better man might have turned the other cheek. Exercised a little bit of that. What's the word? Restraint. But on the other hand. Broadsiding the jackass with a toss ball stick? That felt good. That felt real good. You ought to try it. If you have a disagreement, I expect you to be civilized. One-handed melee or two-handed melee. I know, I have plenty of practice bludgeoning people. Ah. Oh. <laughs> if we had better melee, we could have a funny little conversation here. Uh couldn't have been diplomatic about it. Femme Grimm expects you to be civilized. Uh, I don't want to, like, turn away from his natural habitat. Or his ha natural habits. Oh, I can do civilized. Proper civilized, too. Genuflecting and everything. <laughs> I caught a real lucky break. If you hadn't picked me up, I'd still be back at the docks. Waiting for the day my ship arrives. Glad you're not wasting your life hell in boxes. If I hadn't picked you up, you'd probably be in a prison cell. You'd thank me by not giving me any trouble. Thanks for the story. Glad you're not wasting your life. Yeah. I guess my ship did arrive in the end. I've got you to thank for that. Thanks for listening, boss. Let's get going. Man, I don't even have to end my own conversation with him. Alright, let's look about Felix. So he's got his toss ball stick. Ooh, with electric damage. Um, He's got a grenade launcher. That's... With the critical damage up and a bigger magazine size mod. He's got some pretty shitty baddie, battle armor that gives him melee. And let's see what his perks are. 10 points to persuade. Extra damage when su target is cowering. And extra damage to corporate military. Ooh, those are all very good perks. Let's uh, rank up 
these two. Nice, nice, nice. And his ability is Dropkick. Push the target back a short distance, reduces the offense and defensive skills, and the target case can increase physical damage, and Concuss reduces all attributes and slowly slows weapon attack rate. Charges his target, leaps into the air, and slams into the target with both feet. Awesome! I mean, he sounds pretty awesome to me. Also, yeah, melee is definitely good in this. Um, I'm actually going to go down to the weapons locker and go pick him up some toys. Because we need to properly equip him. Stairs. Who needs stairs? Alright. Let's find some good weapons. Um... Hmm. Let's see. Do we want to give him... I might just take the thing from Vicar Max, honestly. Alright, where's the science hammer? I think I have it. And then we'll give him... He likes being up close, so we'll give him the flamethrower. Now, do we have a special flamethrower or just two normal ones? And... Let's see. Yeah, I think that will work. Alright, Vicar Max. You have the heavy machine gun and the shock stick. I will... Oh, right, I needed to take something to give you the shock stick for. Um... Where did the science hammer go? Put that somewhere? Am I just missing it and being blind? Is that what the pulse hammer is? No. Oh, hold on. I have the hammer. All right, put the shrink ray back in. Then Parvati's going to keep that hammer. Yeah, that's a much faster attack speed, so we'll do that. And then Felix will get that shock stick and the flamethrower. That looks like our Karapra equipment. Alright, and then let's get him some heavy armor. Um, Damn, I don't think we have enough heavy armor suits. Uh, this riot gear, I guess, would work for now. And... It's a decent heavy armor helmet. Yeah, that should work. What's a suit give? Yeah, melee weapon skills. Um, I thought I had some other armor that gave melee, but... Actually, is Parvati wearing it? That's heavy weapons and stealth, but she does have the melee weapon and defense things. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to give Vicar Max the anti-riot gear. Give Parvati this one, because this one's the dialogue one that we used to have. And Felix will then get the... Melee weapon skills kit. Oh, he looks like a proper badass now. And then we'll store his awesome looking clothes in here. Cool. And we'll put these in here as well. Cool. Alright, I think everyone is now set up and well equipped. Give him a moon helmet. I I've had enough of the moon helmet. Every time I saw it, I turned around. I kept jumping because they were, like, scaring me, so. Alright, well, I think that is a pretty good place to round off. Now, we still have a few places we need to explore on the ship. But now, we can take Felix and Parvati with us. Well, actually, um, there we go.
And so we can take Felix and Parvati out back into the area, and then we can see if Felix has any other commentary on the Groundbreaker and stuff. Somehow, I always find my way back to the Groundbreaker. Yeah, because we haven't left yet. But, uh, so he's got the concussion skill. Oh, damn it. She's on the wrong number. Oh, hold on. I like having my skills where they need to... Eh, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'll get used to it. But yeah, I feel like this is a good place to wrap up, so let's make a quick save. And next time, we'll hit the med bay, the salvage place, and the black market, I think it was. And then we're off to whatever planet we have quests for.